After seven generations, 47 years of production and 22 million Fiesta vehicles sold worldwide, Ford is ending up the Fiesta era in 2023. So let's go through the evolution of the Ford Fiesta legend over time. In the 70s, when the fuel crisis was gaining momentum, Ford launched the Bobcat project with the aim of building a car that would cover the demand for the modest and economical vehicles of that period. After a period of development, Ford unveiled the Fiesta MK1. It was a small, three-door car that was cheap to buy and cheap to drive. The Fiesta was a crowd pleaser, becoming the best-selling car in Great Britain until 1982. The Fiesta was square with a sloping back. In front, the headlights were square, separated by a large grid and horizontal slats. The Fiesta MK1 was the first multinational front-wheel drive car on the European market. The Fiesta wasn't exactly fast either. It had a 957 cubic centimeter engine producing 30 kilowatt, as well as 1.1 liter engine producing 39 kilowatt. Given the success of the first generation, Ford hasn't changed much for the Fiesta MK2. Ford has made minor changes to the front with a more rounder look, new dashboard, and a 1.6-liter diesel engine option, a first for this model. In order for Ford to keep running costs low, the next-generation Fiesta also came with 1-liter and 1.1-liter engines. This time, the Fiesta MK3 had a longer and wider body, and for the first time, a 5-door version was also available. It was also the first small vehicle equipped with ABS. On the outside, the new Fiesta had corner-oriented headlights and still kept the same form factor. The interior has been revised, with more subtle design lines. This generation achieved the highest annual sales of any Fiesta in the early 1990s, achieving a sales volume of 1 million units in the first two years of production. Introduced in 1996, the Ford Fiesta MK4 was again the best-selling car in the UK between 1996 and 1998. This time, the MK4 came with the new exterior design, with downward sloping headlights and lower grille, which gave it a sad look. At the same time, it came in a more rounded aerodynamic body and oval front grille. Inside, Ford brought rounded shapes and curved dashboard. Under the hood, Ford has introduced a new range of ZTEC SC engines, 1.2-liter and 1.4-liter. In 1999, Ford launched a facelift model for the fourth generation. Even if it was a refresh, the new model came with a completely new face, which now looks more smiling. It had rectangular headlight, new fenders, and a new grille. And the rear was redesigned for the new taillights. Under the hood, the 1.3-liter unit was the base version. A new 1.25-liter ZEC engine was installed that offered 75 horsepower, and an improved 1.8-liter turbo diesel version was introduced. For some markets, the Fiesta had a 1.6-liter engine. The fifth-generation Fiesta was launched in 2002 and was the perfect answer to the small vehicle segment, Ford offering a small, spacious, and well-equipped vehicle. The new Fiesta had a boxy, rounded appearance, large slanted headlights, and a small grille between them. The rear was brand new, with the taillights mounted on the C-pillar. Inside, the Fiesta had a new design with round air vents and sleek lines, with AC, Radio cassette as standard and was the first Fiesta with anti-lock braking and passenger airbags as standard. Available engines included 1.25, 1.3, 1.4, 1.6 and 2-liter petrol versions and 1.4 and 1.6-liter Duratorque TDCI diesel versions. This generation of Fiesta became the best-selling generation of Ford Fiestas to date. In 2005, Ford introduced a facelift version for the fifth generation. In addition to the changes made to the exterior and interior, Ford also brought better safety systems. Therefore, the car is equipped with better headlights, a refreshed grille, and an interior with an improved dashboard. Under the hood, Ford installed a range of five petrol and two diesel engines. The sixth-generation Fiesta was launched in 2008 and used Ford's new Global B car platform. The new generation came with a completely new design with elongated headlights on the hood, a large front grille, and a roof that ended in a rear spoiler. The interior had a modern look with many chrome elements. Under the hood, Ford installed both diesel and gasoline engines from 1.2 liters to 1.6 liters. The 2008 Ford Fiesta won the Car of the Year title and sold nearly 1 million units in its first two years. In 2013, the facelift version was launched and it was the first Ford to use a trapezoidal grille. It also came with a new bumper, redesigned headlights, and more pronounced lines on the hood and side. The interior essentially kept the same design language, but came with more technology. 
and in terms of safety, the Ford Fiesta comes with 5 Euro NCAP stars. Under the hood of the car, Fiesta 2013, the 1 liter EcoBoost gasoline engine can be found for the first time. This engine, which won the title Engine of the Year. Bigger, roomier, safer, more efficient and more luxurious. This is how the 7th generation of Fiesta launched in 2017 was promoted. Also, the Fiesta range is expanded and includes new models, a crossover style variant called Fiesta Active and the Performance ST line. For those who want something more, Ford has introduced a Vignal luxury trim, which includes a Bang & Olufsen premium sound system and a panoramic glass sunroof, features present for the first time on a Ford. The exterior design has been improved, offering a much more elegant and current appearance. The same improvement can be found inside, where we also find an infotainment system with an 8-inch screen running SYNC 3. Ford made radical changes under the hood as well. The naturally aspirated 1-liter, 80-horsepower and 1.25-liter, 60-horsepower, 82-horsepower engines have been replaced by the new 1.1-liter, 70-horsepower and 85-horsepower engines. The diesel range now includes a single engine. 1.5 liters, which replaces the 1.4 and 1.6 liters. In 2018, Ford presented the utility version of the Fiesta at an exhibition of commercial vehicles in Great Britain. The Ford Fiesta van is based on the three-door version, the difference being in the rear, where the rear seats are replaced by a storage space. In 2022, Ford launched the facelift version of the Fiesta, Fiesta ST, Fiesta Active, and Fiesta van models. The range's new exterior design includes a taller hood, larger upper grille with the Ford emblem placed inside it. It is equipped with standard LED headlights, and the standard rear lights receive new black frames. Inside, the 2022 Ford Fiesta comes equipped with a 12.3-inch digital display and a windshield-mounted camera for the newly added wrong way alert system. The ST version is equipped with new performance seats with better lateral support and integrated head restraints. Ford also managed significant changes under the hood where it ditched the turbo diesel engines and replaced them with new, mild hybrid versions with a 48-volt architecture that complemented the regular inline 3 versions. The Fiesta story ends here. After 46 years, after 22 million copies produced globally, and after its constant presence in the top 5 best-selling cars, Thus, the Fiesta gives way to a new generation of Ford brand electric cars.